chatters. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good morning, chatters. Hope your morning is well. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, six six twenty one. That's the difference with summer, you know, when summer comes. Um it gets really bright early so now you know I'm out early today but I want us to have an early conversation um, I've been seeing a video floater on social media with um, formerly known Lady Saw now uh, Minister Marion Hall um, um, mentioned some stuff in her in her in her preaching the last time she preached and um, it's been making rounds on social media because the verbiage you know that she used and I want us to talk about it you know because a lot of people in the church don't want to have these type of conversations a lot of people in the church afraid to have some of them are afraid to have these conversations some of them don't want to be honest because they're like oh people might judge them <coughs> or whatever the reason may be but I want us to talk about it because number one for those who are real Jamaicans you know we have a very sexualized culture first and foremost our culture is very sexualized number one in everything they do sex is a part of it in Jamaica hold on y'all let me get my coffee chat All right, we're gonna get the can I have so our culture is very sexual, number one. Anybody who grew up in Jamaica knows that we got a very sexual culture. Everything that, you know, people deem as what they want is usually attached to sex, you know, which is so strange and weird to me. It's a very sexually explicit type of culture to me. Because, you know, a lot of stuff we do, we allow it to be done in our children like it's okay. We allow little boy, pitney if you touch up woman and beat up woman but in a party and in a matter of being young it's something that you guys cheer on and it's something that people are like oh yeah 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 make him go and let the girl batty and yeah not thinking because we're so what would I say narrow headed sometime that we are thinking it's as long as the man and batty boy as long as the man a gay boy make him do the woman thing no you, you, you he's a child there's no reason for this child to be smacking, smacking on a, an adult woman's behind. And if you ask me, it is, you're perpetrating that little kid. That is, it's, it's like sexual. <laughs> I'm going to go right to prison. Where do you belong? Or you allow kids to be touching on breasts and vaginas and booties. Like, come on. That's violation to that child. That's what you That's what you That's what That's violation to that child. Thanks. Make sure it's correct. I can give you the more change. I got another car. I got a lot of change up in here. Thank you. You too. So number one, we're going to talk about this lady saw thing real quick. We're going to talk about it because 
I want to know what the supporters feel about this. Now, guys, you know, guys, all who support me, follow me. You know I'm a church goer. I don't care what y'all want to call it, Bible thumper. I don't care what none, none of y'all want to call it. Because we not but a fake, no faith in God for no... Yo, come here, man. We not about a fake, no, no, no faith in a God. The cultured people like we want no God. Whether you save or I'm saved. Are we going to go on the walk? We are walk today. The night house? I don't say up there for real. Oh, may I really link me up for real? Let's go, 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 um, me call her. Yeah, man. Oh, that little girl, young lady doing, she good? Yeah, she good. Tell her to me say hi. Yeah, oh, okay. Where she work? Yeah, oh, good. Yeah. That's not, are we okay? Can I see you have someone sitting by your mind? Oh, what up, what up for your mind? All right, Chad, it's good morning. I just saw one of my friends, you know, um, one of my friends who their house caught on fire recently. And, um, and I'm telling you, God is so good to people. Honestly, he really is. Because that house caught on fire, Marcia, I mean, I tell her, say, if I went for my house, I don't know what I would do. And you know the funny thing when the old sketch on fire, and I him catch it on fire, and he in the area when the fire catch. You can imagine. You can imagine. But you know he's such a good guy, you know, because that fire was not, you know, you know when you have fire, it's not, you know, you, you don't plan it. It's not, it's an accident or you might have a um, grease fire. For so if you have anything on the stove and it catch on fire, don't throw water on it. Do not throw water on it. Okay, it's the worst thing you can ever do. You will put up the whole thing in the ceiling, the fire will blaze up more, all in something. So, a lot of time, I saw fire catch. All right, with all that being said, let's get back to our conversation. Let's talk about this whole dildo story, um, whatever the heck they call it, roses, and um, what is it? Them name the, the, the rose, them because most of all, me see a lot of advertisement about how the rose do you and how the rose. Make you not want man again and the rose make you a, a compete with man and all these story. And me see Lady Saw come out Mar now, you know, formerly known as Lady Saw, now Minister Mary and all. I give her respect because if she's now walking for God, me now call her Lady Saw because she not in the saw no more of her lifestyle back in the time. Yeah, when she a cut and saw, we not dance all. Mm -hmm. Now she are trying to minister to people the word of God. And it is good for anybody to minister the word of God. Doesn't matter who you is. It doesn't matter if you live the life. Now nah, live the life. If you the minister the word of God, somebody will be saved. And if you want to be lost, you're a fool. That you're a minister of God's word. And you didn't take the same word where I preach to people and put in a heart for change. So God look power as big hypocrite. So all of we was sit down the minister the word and you not take up the minister the word where you are minister to people. You not take it up. 
and, and pastor their pulpit, they preach every day repentance, and him up there, no say in a hand forgiveness, you know? Father God, and they tell you, say so forgive, he's doing a good thing, right? However, he did not take the very word he's giving you, so now you're saved and he's lost. Let me tell you, you got to get into word to know that the word says, uh, talks about people that will do things for God. And then themselves be lost. And the work they do will impact other people and save other people and them themselves be lost. No. Let's us try not to be that person. Have we all played hypocrite sometime in our life? Yes, if you never play hypocrite, you're a liar. So let's put aside the fact that you're coming to judge, to tear down, and to act like you're better than anybody. Put that aside because when it comes to this channel, we are a broad thinker. We don't turn our vision on one thing and get stuck there. Because when I look in my life, you see what me I say? Hey. You see what I'm looking at my life? When I pre my life, I said there's multitudes of things. I said, my God, here, 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 here. here. We cannot turn a vision on one problem and think that's the only thing I have to deal with or adjust in my life. There are multiple things I have to adjust in my life. Why? Because we have multiple relationships. We have multiple things we do, not just go to work. You deal with multiple people, not just your children, your, your, your spouse. You deal with multiple things. When I go on road, I'm, I'm pretty much going to Walmart. You have to deal with them crap up in there. We have to always deal. Right? So we now run from that. Now how we deal as people of God is what matters. What we do, what we say, and we can give no excuse that somebody push us to do it. We can give no excuse as to why we chose the words we chose when we are ministering God or saying correcting somebody and you'll correct them but you'll bring them down. You know, you love them and you tell them about God But the, 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 the attitude where you have Does not present God, right? So these are where people who, 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 who honor God You kind of self-examine to see in yourself Where, you know, where in your life You know, you may have things that God is not pleased with Because don't ever get it twisted, you know Marry and all, you know Come out of dance hall and she still have the dance hall attitude Good morning, Tanya Mary and all come out of dance hall. Blessings to her that God saved her. And I know as a person who grew up in a church, me understand that it takes time to transition your attitude. But I also understand that usually your attitude correctly take a stand for it. Come to the God thing. It, it's like a personal work. When it comes to the God thing, you're never finished with the work. Of transitioning and changing. You will find yourself where God will make you get disgusted with yourself. You see, for example, if I have a bad word cussing mouth, right? He knows your lips are not clean. Go read the Bible and read about Peter. Because someone don't understand more Christian people. And that even fellow Christians who walk with Christ had issues. And issues such as their tongue. You understand? Some people had anger issues. Because when they came in the garden of Gethsemane to, attack, to, to, to get Jesus, who came up with a knife and cut somebody's ear off? That's brutal. That is brutal for you to take a knife and cut somebody's ear off in front of Jesus. So I'm trying to tell you, the people of God has issues that sometimes Jesus has to work to fix. And if you don't take it seriously, you don't be a bulldog Christian where nobody now want to listen to. So, self-examination in our approach and in our attitude will always matter. What we say out of a big mouth, especially if you have the Marian all mouth or the chit chat mouth. Because you know, big mouth people, you just, how oh God make you. Your mouth just big. You have to take special care to say, all right, since my mouth big, a little bit. Sorry about that, my Wi Fi kick in. Since my mouth big, you know, things can come off a little bit more harsher for me because of, of my way of expression. So, a person that is more quiet, you know, sometimes will find themselves where they're not heard and seen because they don't understand how to speak up for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you, silence doesn't mean you won't speak up. However, some people that are silent tend to be a lot of 
tend to be in a category of insecurity in some form or fashion because a lot of time people are not just quiet because they're using wisdom sometimes people are quiet because of several reasons they're quiet because they feel demeaned and not feel, they don't feel like their voice can be heard like for example some husbands are in relationship with wives where they don't have authority in their house so after a while the husband becomes a pacified or a passive husband where he no longer stands for anything makes a decision and without the wife he's kind of just nothing so it's very important that we know the balance of even when silence is important when loudness is appropriate and when you got to bring it down for the room because sometimes you go in a room with people that has been abused hello and traumatized by the parents by family and when they were young yelling and getting beat when somebody yelled at them it it brings back you know that hurt and it and it triggers the ptsd so i'm telling you it's not about you trying to change no you have to know how to exist in every situation that god put you in if you're with a person that is traumatized by say abuse you don't want to go over there because that might trigger what they've been through in the past do you understand what i'm saying so sometimes you go into a room and you you bring that level down. You be like, "Hey, baby, what's going on?" You yeah, talk to me, and you be more of a listener. And as somebody can pour into you, you be able to carry that burden to God for you know. Because sometimes people are going through and they can't pray right now. They're going through and they feel like they don't have no energy to talk to God. So we're gonna listen now, and we're gonna go further into this conversation because we're talking about you know us and change. It's not. A Sunday service thing. It's not, oh, I attended service, so I'm good. I got my fix, my moral fix, my Christian fix, my church attendance fix. You go further in transition in your language, your action. You go further and use yourself as the example. When you fail, you tell the people you fail. When you do something wrong, you tell them. Because when they come back, they can see that you're a person of truth. That you didn't cover up your mistake you didn't try to act like your name do it you never try to come sugarcoat it if you are wrong you keep the same energy for yourself and the same energy for other people now i'm gonna talk about the dildo marry and all this is her speaking hold on guys put in this real quick all right so she will have we could pause you for a moment you know she had tell her our vibrator story and she will tell her about you know how the vibrator do because anybody that ever have a vibrator you and i know it's an unrealistic expectation um that is provided for you for pleasure um because naturally the man's body and penis does not operate in that rhythm a battery operated rhythm so what you find yourself is after a while you're you you put aside man and man can't please you anymore do you see how the enemy works it's subtle so the excuse will be oh i gotta pleasure myself because at least me now i gotta take man and i get disease oh but then after god provides you a husband you still can't let go of that vibrator it's very demonic very demonic and i'm not telling you this to cast you down because i'm not out of the lead of a vibrator i never buy a vibrator a day in my life oh but i'm not out of the lead of masturbation like anybody else have done when you're the guru and you're young and you're the ha 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 pleasure yourself. Let's get into it. Let's get into some things this morning. Because we're going to have an honest talk. Now, who wants to talk? Now, who wants to be real about this? Because a lot of you, you all walk up in a God face and I tell God lie. He knows so you're going to the bathroom in morning time and night time for just get a one-two. He knows that. But to sit there pretending like it pleases him is what boggles me. Whether you do it still or not, you have to understand the trick behind it. 
God created us naturally to be pleasured. Sex is made of God. So he is aware that he made us with the desire and the passion of sex. However, if you're doing sex, you're supposed to do it within the realms of what he created it to be. Honorable between a man and a woman. Honorable to, the pr to, pr to produce and to repopulate the earth, right? However, the enemy likes to mimic the things of God. So he'll come with sex as well. But he'll come with a, you know, a watered down version of what sex is supposed to be. He'll say, okay, well, you don't got to be married. Just have sex for free. And there's no marital structure to show your children. So why are you sitting here sleeping with a man having 10 kids by him and he never even put a ring on your finger? And then your worth goes down as a woman. And you sit back and try to justify, well, maybe they went in 20 years. No, 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 no. 20 years of waiting in the back of your head for pretending like you didn't want to marry the man or you didn't want the man married you. Cut it out. Cut it out, lady. Cut it out. You just accept it because guess what? He now want married you. He now want to with you. But you sit down and give him the milk for free. Don't you see the pain that God is trying to stop us as women from going through? And men from going through? Guess what now? With that being said, that's just one example. The next example, sex is good. Take it from her. You don't got to ask her for it. So now you have rape. I can pleasure myself. Who can stop me? And I'm going to take that little boy and I'm going to R him. I don't care if he hurts. So now the devil put in your mind, R in people. Now it goes further. Good morning, Sham. Molestation stuff like that. I'm not going to hurt them. I'm just going to touch them. I'm in kind of... And you, the damage you do. It's all sex. He loves to mimic God. But he cannot mimic God because he's not God. And he's not pure of spirit. So anything comes out of the devil's mouth. No matter how it looks beautiful. There will always be death attached to it. There will always be death attached to it when the dildo come and the dildo I show you some reading one oh my your husband cannot show you there's going to be death to your sexual part of your marriage in a minute if you don't take it serious tell me i'm lying you're lying when you're in sex and you have to have your man I rub your clit all day because the vibrator is the clit rubber we have used for years and you can't come if the clit na rub. Let me tell you something. Let's talk about it. Count on the play games today. When I ramp with chit chat, let me come to talk the things then. When I know about the clit rubbing, we could talk about the clit rubbing. Good on night. Hard talk, real talk. Over here we have the hard talk and the true conversations to life. Adjust the truth. When you develop a clit rubbing proclivity, when I develop a come proclivity, the come and come and come all day. After a while, without a man, and you get a one man 20 years later. Listen to what me I say. You're used to the clit rubbing and your body respond to that unnatural way of pleasure. Yeah. So what happened now, when you get the man, it come like you can't come without the man and rub your clit. The man have the natural rhythm for rather man, not to you. The man have the juki and the jammy. The man have the, 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 the chocolate stick. The man have every little thing you want. He have the good body. He have the power. He have the back. He in a jelly. And then you come and no matter how the man, the man a rock and the man a roll, you can't come without the clit rubber. Why? Because I'm not from what we kill for you, a robot clit. And you're the robot and the robot and the robot and the come and the come. And me, I try to tell you, say, I'm not God, we. Because what happened now? What happened now? If me and you sit down in the clit robin touring, what happened now? You realize you don't want man again. I clit to one rub now for the rest of your life. And after a while, you realize that chop. You start compromising in your head and say, Chop, me don't want a man come, man come with problem. And me can't rub my clit, so you think the clit rubbing is what go. And you, before you realize it, you're not getting a husband. And now the whole thing what God have planned for you, blessed by a man and pleasure by a man. You're not even want a man. And before you know it, the devil come whisper in your head and tell us that we're going to start near clit. The devil come whisper in your ears after and say, Go near the clit now, because you're the rubbing long time. Go near me, so go, go there with a the woman. <laughs> And so he walk, he presents only the same thing, people. He presents only the same thing to me and you. And we could talk the thing sometimes, we do it. 
And we sit down in night for a while and we not tell nobody. And you were secret. And you don't want to tell nobody at church. Because you don't want them know what you do. And you don't want. I saw Christian people turn. They love world secret because they love fake before people. Because they might worry. Say, oh, the people they might go say, because you're a Christian, you should not do this and you should not do that. A Christian are the most people who do because Christian realize that they can't do without God. And all the problems they might have and they might carry. All that you know, realize that Christian people are the people they might say, God, no matter how many things set, are you me a come to? Me a put on me pride God if me is a clit robber me is a this robber that robber God me want me a come because me want you tap me from clit out me want you tap me from glit out and jit out and zit out any out there God where they kill me me a come in your house because me sister ain't a right God and me sister me have a problem with it I mean if you stop them something there because I got it they tap me from the husband I got it they tap me from the wife you know you, you know understand what me I say because if any woman want to the real honest truth when you buy the rose business them you know what, man, again? You could go and listen. You know what, man? All I know is this about the clip thing and the, the, the vibrator. Lady Sam, let me talk to you about this. Let me tell you something right now. All I would say towards this vibrator story nothing is wrong with talking about what you have done my sister especially because people know you you have an impact from dancehall and we do have a demographic of people who still honors you even though now you have walked over into what you say is christian you understand but may god tell us something woman of god if you're truly a woman of god make sure when you're talking about these things you'll be very careful in this season, the people of God have to be more aware of the verbiage that we choose. Listen to me, may I tell you, you know, because some of we chat too much. You're talking to the catalyst of a talker. You see, me now, me know about my story because I'm more big. And I know thing me talk. I mean, if I use myself as an example, I don't have to use none of them. I know my tan. I mean, see how my words can really rather not to some things in our way. And if I don't even say that way, the things would are different. So I'm trying to tell you, you see, you know, you know, you click out, I want to talk about the you know, past or, or whatever, and you talk about the building of the church and all it, and you talk about how. Sorry about that, the phone, never pick up a while ago. If you, if you, if you sit down and you talk about how you used to do the dildo, make sure say, I used to do the dildo. Make sure say, you're not know, still I do the dildo as a pastor, and a pastor, okay, no pastor, you're a minister, as a minister. You understand? I mean, I know if nobody proclaim you, uh, you are self-proclaimed minister. I don't know because I never see nobody appoint you and anoint you. I mean, I know which church you are a part of. I don't know what diocese. Where, where is your leadership? Because I mean, one thing I you know you come with a dancer, you're dropping a, you drop, like a, you're dropping a ministry a title. And I, and, and, and I know a lot of Jamaicans like to jump in titles, you know, because I just, that's how we stay. We like to have a title. We know if you stop them something there. Because you see, when God has appointed you for ministry, ministry a different story than dancer. You see, the little dancer attitude, the little worldly things that we pick up, the little words that we pick up and they use and they use God with them in a right. It's not right. Sometimes we, we have some little dirty ways. We have them too. And I change, God, I change me to them. Because we sit down and we have some little dirty ways but we, uh, and when we're in a party, we bring in at the church and the things that God can't please because, oh, no, 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 God not please. You see the little attitude where you have where dancehall attitude, the attitude where come from dancehall, God not need that. God no need that. Because the attitude of God's people is something he constructs as he change you. It is something that he mows as he change you. As you repent to him, you realize the mighty God, I'm changing. When God is done with you, Marian, if you see us in your way, when he's done with you, you're going to be a woman that is completely different. When you come out and talk, you're not even going to People are going to say, my God, what a weird woman come. Because some of the things you carry is because of the past and the way you related to that people then. But when you're in God, there's a different level of relatability that you're going to be carrying. And it's a different way that you will communicate with the world, not as though you was in the party house anymore. So I want you guys to be aware that Marion... If you used to do the deal to my sister and you're coming to testify about what it did, I understand. But if you're still using the dildo and gloating about it as though God is pleased, you're out of line and you're dead wrong. 
while we, we might have sinned, while all of us may fall short of the glory of God, it is not a good look to come out at any point in life to come tell your sin when you're still dealing with it, when you are a minister and a person that is carrying a title, only if you use wisdom. No, I'm not saying particularly to you, that's what you did. But I'm saying a lot of you like to gloat past sin. Stop gloating on all these things and putting it on God's name because it is wrong of you to do. God is going to hold us accountable to what we do. Fred! God, I go hold you accountable to what we do. We come out and minister to people. You know how many people are dealing and struggling with that problem right now? Wow, go on! I see you know, I'm early in the morning, so I have to pass and say hi, come here, take a little early morning stroll, you know? You good? Okay, sweetie. I out early in the morning. I never usually out, me say it's a nice out today. I went to bed early. I got up early. Yeah. You all right, do you? All right, my darling. It's a pass through. Yeah, man. Yes. So when I tell you, say, we have to watch what we are doing. I mean, I'm not gonna tell nobody to come out here and, 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 and tell, well, may they sleep with Ari last year. So what? So what? If you come out of it and if God has delivered you from Harry, Parry, and Zari, what the heck did they come, come tell the whole world? Unless the Lord has instructed you to share certain things, there are certain things I will never share with you guys. It is not wisdom. It is not wisdom for me to come tell you about the things that I still have struggle with. When I beg God to help me through. When I come tell for myself because you know Jesus. No, 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 no. A God alone me need to confess to. And there are some stories that I go through right now and things that the Lord is taking me through and out of. So with the time will come when you have me to testify about those things. But when it is not right and the right time, we're not going to testify about something the Lord didn't lead you to testify about. We don't have to use wisdom. So I don't get too hype in our self glory. We don't get too hype in our pride. I don't feel that God is pleased because we're more big and we love to drunk out everything. No, baby. We have to cut it out. We have to stop and we have to use ourselves as an example. We have to stop. Stop it. We have to stop it. No, me know such a change take a time for we. We now go say we perfect and we don't all of a sudden get everything together today. No. But moving on our lives, what we say and what we do, we have to be careful. Sometimes some of you share something because you want to feel relatable to the crowd. And I'm coming to tell you, the crowd only go diminish you. Edna, good morning. The crowd diminishes you when you do not do certain things. So what happened? You come out and you think you're sharing a vulnerable story. Felicia! You think you're sharing a, a, a vulnerable story. And when you look, the audience turn against you. When we look, ladies, I talk up the things. Them People are in the comment. My minister, Mariana, people are in the comment like, they don't want you not going to blink in dildo. That's not the focal point to when you're ministering to God. And I tell you people sometimes, you know, I know sometimes you do some stories that are relatable and I understand. So don't think I'm coming down at you. What I am saying, in all things, we have to use wisdom. Dildo is probably not the thing right now. In this time right now. But if that was her problem, and that is what was her ailment, and that had, had to stop her from God, me understand bringing it up. Me understand talking about it. However, you cannot sit here as a child of God. It no matter if you're in a sin or not. Because I'm in a sin, I'm not going to sit on my and say, Well, me just, me just club every Saturday. No, I'm not doing that. If I'm struggling with this thing and I want God to take it from me, me have to wait till God take it from me. Then me come tell you, me say, Chatters, me say about three, six months ago, while here I go, Chatters, every evening me go to club, me go to the top club in, I mean, I know why club, the club wall me, the club is a wall me, sir. I mean, I know me tap to the club, I mean, just want free from the club, but me just in the club, so. And you come tell a story how the club go. After God deliver you all tight. After you know now, all right. Me free up of the club. Me free up of the addiction. Or me free up of the man. Or, you know, me there with a man. And God, me couldn't let go the man because you're so tired. And God, me know me not pleasing to you. Because, and I'm a husband, God. And me, me, me already violate and give the man the pooms. And God, me know me dead wrong. And Jesus Christ. You know them something they go? So nobody come, 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 go on. Like I said, on the feast of church people, now get mixed and mixed and mixed up. The whole of who no get mixed up, whether you're unsaved or not saved because you name human being. From the moment you name human being, you don't mix up in a something. Me a young girl, a whole heap of mix up and things. When me a come up, me get up in a, and me I say, Jesus have mercy on me. 
God, I'm ashamed like dog. Me can't believe there's some man me for there with. Me can't believe it. When me look at my life, I say, Jesus, what me do it? Come and say to myself, say, girl, the devil was really working for the, to, to take your life. Because when you look, oh, you're deceived by a man. Oh, you're deceived by a woman. If you're out there and a man, they talk, sometimes the people, them deceive you. And you think they're nice and they just deceive you. So you see, she had tell, she, you see, she had tell her story. Well, this is the thing. Nothing is wrong with telling a story. Because I just acknowledge that it's fine. Right? If it's not in line, and if it's, if it's not in line, and if it's not in wisdom, and if it's not led of the Spirit of Christ, your story is irrelevant when you're standing there in front of God with His Word. Let me tell you something. Let's not take anything from God's Word. Let's not use our story to be the highlight of God's Word. I'm a serious woman, Stacy. God not need help. He gives us a story, yes, baby. He gives us an experience. But anytime you're going to church, you see people even dress too much, too dressy. And they make attention come to themselves in a church. They say, ha, ha, look at me, look at me. You're taking away from God. You don't understand some, some levels of wisdom. You don't understand what I say. I said the woman cannot share the story, but there is time and a place for everything. And sometimes it is not the spirit of Christ leading you to tell that story. And we have to be real and stop sufficing people and saying, well, I became saving come from dancer, so I can go and do anything. This ain't got nothing to do with dancer, the world we come from dancer. We never there dance, we never turn no dancer queen, but the world we come from dancer. Because if you're a Jamaican, you went there some party and shake your body. Because me ever went there a party. How are you? Girl love dance. Love shake body. So you're not telling me nothing what I'm going to do. Me understand them levels. Me understand and me also understand the level of God. And me also start to understand the levels of wisdom. Some things you can't tell it yet, Stacey. Some things have to wait till you fully redeem out of it. To tell I mean, I say particularly to Lady Sam, I mean, say there are some things that we are not through it yet, and you're in the devil not done with you, and God definitely not done with you yet. You have to wait. The season can be wrong, and it can affect and impact your message of Christ to people. You know, and I said to me, I said, Goody, I said to my heart, sometimes it affects the, and, and it, 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 it impacts the way the message come across. Because I know the people them stuck on deal of Jesus Christ and go to preach about Christ. I know I deal the people them stuck on. Come on, man. Come on. And because what you want to spice up message, God tell us that he need of a spice nothing. Did God tell you he need you to take the glory? Because when I look no, I hear nothing about the word. I deal with me a ear socialized by social media. I deal with me ear a circle. What make the word was she preach in a circle? If it's, it's, if it's a word from God. And anointed word, why is it that they clip out and the part they alone them clip out? Of course, I know they're gonna clip the part there. Eh? And that they go get their highlight. You have to be careful. Cause social media and I'm not to play with it. Sometimes you know, like a personal meeting in a church. Between you and the ladies, them Stacey and and then the place that you say them thing there. Because a sister this has struggled with the said thing. You pre what me I say. I think it was out of line. No one need to know that. That's personal to you personal though sometimes it's personal and god will allow you to share in our counseling session sometimes you're not going to share it on a public platform because the people out here are devilish they don't believe you marian some of them don't want to believe that god did what he did for you so what i'm saying since you're coming from a public place dancer name dancer right you are be careful me not care what nobody say you are be careful these days because you see because you're already known you have already been known, right? And when you think about it, you've already been known. So you see, when you're known, they, they, they have the judgment of the past, by you. They have the judgment now. They look if you go change. They have the and when you look now, people are going to say, well, she's not supposed to have sex. She's not supposed to have this. She's not supposed to have that. And she's not this. And you hear she go up on her video, come talk about miscarriage or you come, you can come talk about man in my table, or whatever the story is, whatever things she should have. And she have a right to do whatever she want to do in life, right? But when you say there's something there, it look a little funny when you say God. And if you're going to say it, 
and say, God, you have to let the people know you have not arrived. Because any one of you ought to have problems. You just have to be honest. You cannot justify your sin. Me tell people all the time, one thing me beg God, me help me. Jesus, now make me be one of them people there. If I me have my problem, God, let me be the one to shut it down because me don't want to be my own problem. When me look at Anik, I say, Anik, you will stop yourself from greatness in a gal. With a big mouth they have, you know. So me beg God mercy about the mouth. Because you can be the problem to yourself, you know. And I really got out the devil sometime, you know. And you come and are you style a thing and are you expose yourself. So when the people them box in your face and kick you and judge you, because that testimony was meant and reserved for you and also the people of intimacy that God called you to. So now you go up on public platform and share a certain testimony. God never gave the right to these demons out here. What they do? Now bring it down. Oh, okay. Because God now put in a position for certain things. But you put yourself in that position without wisdom. And I'm not saying all of us is going to always be wise. No, I've made a lot of stupid decisions. I can look back in my life, Commission, and say to myself, Jesus, I was so stupid. But you see? Hot me, I see every time I take more So this is what I'm making. I'm like, I'm pissed off. I'm like, hey, this is not hot me. I'm soul. Deep down, I just want to take one, want, want to sit down and box myself in my face. Girl, just box yourself in your face. Just, just take one belt and beat yourself. I saw me feel sometimes. Because I'm looking terrible me sitting in, in my life where they affect me right now. I mean, I ain't mean, do it. Because I'm too blinking enough. I'm too stupid and immature then time they and I make the decision them and then care I never understand good morning Lisa so what I'm saying is let's try to be wiser in our expression sometimes I found myself in the past get emotional both things make emotion run me make you know, and your feet say, you can't make emotion run you because Ray Ray and a few of you have a right to talk, and you have a right to chat. Baby, let me tell you something, everybody have a right to chat. But do you have a right to be a stupid fool? Do you have a right to ruin your foundation? Do you have a right to ruin your anointing? Because when you do that, you know, oh. Uh, when you do that, me realize say, no matter if my mind, my heart went in the right place, from me come out of my mouth and say it, it's still like a rub some people wrong me. And you cause your ministry or you cause your, your, your cause your testimony to be looked down on. Me not the best English speaker, me dunce. So come and go tell you how we can tell you it. It will cause people to kind of, mm, 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 your thing, like, ah, 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 your thing. And it caused you to not be a good witness for Christ. You think I every time me a good witness? Hey, me shame God till I nearly fall. Hey, I, shame, I put on some shame on God out here. In that world, yeah? I put on some shame on God. If you say, I try to speak to my day. I come to talk that. That's the truth. Because no matter if me walk, walk away from God, me never talk to church, you know? Because me always know the truth. And me couldn't escape the truth. No matter how people, they do, 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 me couldn't follow people. Me just know say the time when they come, when me have to go, just get my heart together because my heart too much for God to sit down. Me not want to any little Freddy Freddy people there. Me not want to any little shamey shamey rat puss mangoes people there who are run away from the crowd. No, me a girl was step up in the crowd and said, Jesus, me not have no shame for me, Jesus. So you see, because I'm still, me say, well, God then, me have to fix up every other things then because at the end of the day, me can't walk with you and certain good things set away. So work on chicha, you know, do you have to do? In the mouth, in the neck, in the ears, in the eye, in the mouth, any little thing, do you have to do? It's not easy, but do you have to do, God? You are right, I have testimony that I will share one-on-one, -on -one, not publicly. I also have testimony I will share publicly. We have to use wisdom in everything. Yes, Miss Debbie. Yes, my love. People have to understand what I'm saying with this. This is deep. When I understand, somehow, no. I want you to understand, my love. When I speak these things passionately, I mean it out of my heart, not out of dishonor or disrespect. You understand? We are Jamaican, so we say we force. You see me? Somehow, we. Right? No, mark it. If you, if you, if you share the testimony with the wrong friend, me ask you a prino. You know, somehow, no younger. And immature when we're young. And you share something with one girlfriend or one boyfriend, right? And then you go tell the business. Then what? Just share, say you go give the boy one one piece. 
the first time. And you know you never have no business to do it. Because you don't tell you to do it. When you turn on the boy, you're drunk. Bro, and plus, you get your disease. You want to tell the world worse than you get your disease? You want to go, Mr. Me went there with one boy, Lord God. I'm a very young woman, I went telling me. I'm Mr. Me Lucy Jesus. You're the one alive. You boy, give me one disease, eh? Big and bad like dog, you know, I'm picking a doctor. And you start telling the story. That a story that you come publicly and tell? Wouldn't that be a story that is personal to your child? Maybe you can't go to your picnic and say, listen to me, come here, baby. When I was your age, when I was your age, I did this and I did that. And this is what happened. It's a more personalized. And it helps somebody better. You can't get up and uh, talk about no blinking. This or this or this or that. Upon, upon big thousands live with thousands of people. Oh no, for you use wisdom. I don't care how much you only want. Like Mary and all. I don't care how much you only want. Um, endorse her because you think she's saved now. And she's holy and she's righteous. Let me tell you something right now. You see not because you're not a dancer. You see not a dancer all of them the years of baby. It doesn't qualify you. You understand? Dance our life is over, right? You see now party again because we don't know what you're doing a secret. Dance our life is over, right? Just know that when you, you, you see the amount of years you spend on dance hall, and the amount of years you have to spend building your faith in Christ. You see the amount of years you spend transitioning the things you picked up spiritually that's not of God. Because, because you give your life to God and get one Holy Ghost, so that means you're delivered. Cut it out. You know about deliverance? Somehow we still full of demons and they got church every Sunday. Let me talk the truth because someone now and chat the truth. Me are the in between man phone, you know. Me are the girl when I have no pig in the pen, you know. Me are the girl when I come and use myself, you know. Me have to talk the truth. Because when we not talk the truth and we not tell the thing the raw way, we are, we are, we are jump around corner and a quint up here. We not quit no guy this morning when we are talk the things them. No, for we still don't have a house in a problem. A 20 year already there. And you still got the problem. What make you not delivered? Because you're not committed to God. Cut it out. You're committed to religion. I mean, ever warning about it. There's a big difference between going to church every Sunday. You can't get up every Sunday and go to like church all you want. You're not righteous. That not mean see I got heaven. Sunday service does not dictate your heavenly pass. Stop it. Media church every Sunday and still can bust hell wide open right now. You're kidding me? Come on, guys. Let's be real with each other. Let's keep it a hundred. Let's open up and be truthful. We can't. Keep acting like a God not holy. And it there and I sin right now. God come here, I go drop down. Boop. I just the truth. Me not take up no life for myself. I no deception for myself. I say, when me get it right, you know, God, me I go just jump in the heaven with you. Me righteous and me holy. You're too blinking, liar, wicked girl. You ready for God come right now? I you sneak on corner with man. Oh, God. Look, look. Look when I even talk, because I don't want me to chat, because I'm too raw and disgusting for you, you know. I'm too raw and disgusting, because I only send call me big man them, because you see, over here, so pitney is not over here. Me run call me big man them, and know the things them, I can't talk them truth, I understand where I come from. Me not say nothing dishonoring, what's up honey? Me not say nothing disrespectful, me not say nothing in a no way, me just tell you what my heart say. These things affect we. Them are something that really affect we people. And in the church, that's why people don't want to come to church. For I want to church people too, we can lie. Someone don't hey, God, God. Me just want you to just make me into, oh God. Sometimes I sit down and I say, God, me know everything I write in my life yet, God. But me say, me just feel the fire burn. Me just feel the fire burn. God, me just want you to help me. Help me to help them. Help me out of things so me can free in the things so me can help them. Because me sit there, ah, Jesus. Me see some people want you, but they don't know. They don't understand. And then someone will come and you'll be a bad example. Yeah. Someone will be a bad example. And you just, they just want the world to think you're a good example. Don't do that. Come and tell the world that no, I was not a good example. You say, tell the people them if you ain't cost them like a dog. Tell them so people can know I had to change. Because even I was wrong. You know, if it's thin of a... Uno stop from uno stop from one people for love uno no man. Uno stop from one people for favor uno no man. Tell the truth because you know have nobody to put you in heaven and hell but Jesus, you know. You know, no none of them can, can talk up their mouth. They can say, Well, I like the person, I mean I like them, I like them. But when it comes to your soul, who you have to talk to but God? So when you look sin thing, they look at infant demons them in your life where you accept and go on, like I say, they not necessary to come out. You the entertain infant demon in your life where you have God? You're the God, hope your man, and you say, Ah, oh, God. 
You are living in a man's bed every single night. A man can't marry and you have God. So one on the God and the love of your soul. He bless you with a man who are for you. You're there over there tell the people the man like I say, God, God now have the provision for you for you get a good man for yourself. Tell the truth, no man. But no, you don't want to work on the insecurity issue. You want to just take people, man, because taking people, man, make you not responsible for the man. I go talk the things then. Hard talk, real talk. But you want to come be cocky and you want to have the nerve to come part your lips to talk. Like you want to style the people, them wife. And style the people, the most band, watch when God box in your face. Let's see how you keep that man you get. Because guess what? You don't want no man for yourself. You want the people, them man. Some of you t and a cheating is an issue. Some of you is jealousy your issue. Envy is an issue. You not tell God that. But God sees every time you frown upon your very sister when she's blessed. God sees every time you frown upon your very brother when he's blessed. Demands. You don't see it? You don't want to see the demon now, you? You want to see the demon of everybody but not you. Oh. Me a quick, quick smile if you see the demon now me. First, I call out myself and say, girl, you know you're not a drunk or thing. Cut it out. Cut it out. Because if you're not willing to call out yourself, you're not supposed to be on social media. I call out nobody. You're not too hypocritical out here. You see, I mean, I look upon them, you know. Me look upon myself. Me beat myself. Me lick myself. My supporter, them know the truth. For me make me mistake. And me turn against God. And me walk away and go pick up things. And me. It's me. Me now go blame Pastor Sandal. Me now go blame my mother. Me now blame my father. And me and Nick. Because when I come off adult stage, me could have make a decision if you don't do certain things. But I went with the crowd. Me follow the people them. Adjust the truth. Who begs? Because me not begs. Me move on my life. Me very happy. And the best decision I'm ever making in my life is move out of my life. I'm going to have no unforgiveness towards certain people are not like that because I'm going to tell this man I'm going to pay life 4 o'clock and I'm going to let the name still because we're there to talk. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to have no hate in my heart for you. I'm going to care if you like me or not like me. I'm going to care no hate for you because at the end of the day right now, right now I'm afraid of, right now I'm going to tell the truth, I'm afraid of heart. I'm afraid of God. I'm very sorry. I can't hold in my heart right now. Me, me afraid I got like a puss. God, God said to me, say, if you don't forgive them, how can I forgive you? Move right here, so you're a hypocrite. Exactly. That is why certain things, Carolyn, me not do. Mm -hmm. Tyrion, certain things, me not me, me. And because me not want to do it, me must say, goody get her hurtings too, you know. Oh, God. And goody have heart and feelings too. Mm -hmm. Goody have all these things. But me must say, goody cannot operate according to goody again, you know. Goody have to step out of goody self. And goody have to step in a God more. Goody have to step in a God more. So guess what now? As we grow, as we step in a God more. Remember say, you know, I'll get everything overnight with God. Because God is too big and mighty. And somehow we're too distracted in the world. And if you not entertain God, oh God will come in and work for you. If you hear you every day, and everything you can listen to, I dance all day. You think God will welcome that I will say? No prayer? No welcome? You don't know, make no sacrifice? You just think that God for the scope of your dirty house? Dirty kitchen, dirty house, dirty everything. And him, if you come, come work miracle for you. You, know, you. you don't think God is a holy God if you make room for him? Make room for him and to welcome his righteous holy self? You don't know, think so? Oh, so you think that so God are like you, girl, I look at dirty girl road. And girl, I look at dirty boy road. No, he's not. So guess what? When you can't treat people or you want to treat them, you can't treat God the way they when we can't cause people and discriminate and say, way, way, tay, tay. God is not like that. We have to watch ourselves. We have to consider ourselves. And we have to know, say, not because you have an opinion about something, and not because you feel passionate about it, doesn't mean you have to do it, and it doesn't mean God is pleased by it. I've been there countless times. We can't even count the time them anymore. How much time we do it? You lose track of, of the amount of time I've done the same thing. So me not telling you nothing what shit chat not in a and a feel or been through. You understand? You have to just decide, say, alright, me I maneuver the thing differently. Me, me not ask God for one thing. Me ask God for several things because I know one thing me need. 
One of the biggest things right now you have to have out here to survive is the love of Christ. You can't get up and survive Christianity. You can't get up and survive church attendance without love. You cannot survive anything when it comes to God without love. You cannot. Because when people hurt you, don't to your mama. Jesus have mercy. Don't to your father. Don't to your sister, them and brother, or them wicked sometimes. Father, can you see the people? Them, and they want family and they want blood. You know that hurt? You know how that hurts to forgive them? Hey, someone don't someone feel family pain yet. Someone don't understand family pain. Someone don't understand how some family are demons. And how some family take on their own family, take on their sister, man. Chief, this man me here, one woman, they complain, say, she go abroad and she work all of her money. And when she work all of her money for years, she send money to, to her sister to build a house. This is her husband and Pitney. And she send the money to build the house. And when you look, the woman yam the money. And the woman say, she paid the Pitney them school fee and make sure that her sister was good. So she didn't know how she, her sister, they go take the house money and yam it and say she didn't need the money. She said she take her to lock up her sister. Because... All of what she work and sacrifice. It's as if the family want her to just forgive the sister. And act like nothing happened. After the sister has taken your money and lived off of it with her family. That is wickedness. And God is a just God. She ought to be locked up. Forgive her, yes. But forgiveness does not equate freedom. Forgiveness does not mean I'm going to justify what you do. I will forgive you because you choose to repent. Allegedly, if you do, someone only, only repent because you get catch. Because I don't believe that sister was so sorry. I just believe the sister knew that one day this is going to blow up in her face. And because she didn't want to answer the phone, she didn't want to talk to her sister, she go send text message, say, forgive me, please, forgive me, forgive me. And you don't make the family, they come down upon the woman after the woman go abroad and work how much money for years. I would lock up my sister as well. She going to jail. She going to jail. You're going to jail. Me not care for my sister. You, I could have my mama. You're going to jail. You're a demon. Everything on me work for you take from me, and you want me to let you loose. Oh God! Can somebody be that wicked? Can somebody be that terrible to you? They take your livelihood, they take your soul, they take your money, and they say to you, please forgive me, don't make nothing happen to me. Oh, please forgive you, yes, but something is definitely going to happen. It's either you're going to get locked up, or I'm going to get a bot, and I'm going to beat the brakes off of you. So guess what? I don't want to beat the brakes off of you, because that's the fleshly part of Anique that will rise up, but the other side of Anique, Go say, all right, let the law handle it. Me now make you get off. Because all my years I've worked to have nothing while I watch you and your husband live in a big house with my money. You're a wicked and you're a demon from the pits of hell. Anyone that want to do that to the family, you don't deserve to be free. You deserve to be locked up. You're nothing but a wicked thief. I'm not care how you when they suffer. Me not care how you ain't hungry. If the woman had give your money already for deal with your family, why would you take everything from her? The person blessing you. Demons. You know, say a bad man are wicked. You cannot do that to your loved ones. And that is what happens in the world a lot of time because we're we're at a place where, you know, that's why I always say people have to self-examine and be mindful. Because the world is the world is a little different today. What is good is considered bad. What is bad is actually considered good in today's society. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful out there. But there's so much wicked, and you're not gonna find the wicked always among strangers. You'll find the wicked in your family. You'll find the wicked in the church. Because the enemy know how to plant things and people to kill you. And then we use anybody available. If your sister went in at the pussery lifestyle in time there and she a thief from you and she gets she, she she must have changed her life now or whatever the story is it doesn't mean that she's not going to be held accountable honey she still has to be held accountable for what she do i have a best friend in prison my cousin they are prison 17 year deep she get guess what 
She ain't no addict no more. Guess what? She ain't in jeopardy for her life and suicidal no more. Guess what? But her behind had to go to jail because she almost took somebody's life. So not because God forgive her doesn't mean she ain't going to pay the price. She's going to have to pay the price for what you do. When God forgives you doesn't mean you're not going to pay the price. Grow up. You murder people and you want God forgive you. He forgives you. But you're going to go to jail. You think says God is going to make you get away with it? Get away with it, sir? Is God a fool? Did you not commit the crime? He is a just God. She must go to prison. She do what she do. She dead wrong feet. Put her in the bottom of the cell. No mercy. But God is so merciful to us that when he sees that you're actually repentant and you mean good and you mean it in your heart, say we're wrong, God will allow favor to come upon the situation. So you realize that after a while, then give you a long time, then start lesson time by you. I'm telling you, I want to know about God. I want to know about God and his mercy. But if God sees that your heart isn't clean and you repented, you, 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 you come to him to repent. But he insists you're not even repentant. He insists your heart not clean. He insists that tomorrow you're going to say thing. How do you think God feels? How do you think God, 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 the Holy One, processes these things? God is not a fool. And we can't style God. So when she do what she do, she thinks she can always style God until God think, God, don't make me get locked up too. Because I love me, I must kill the woman of Jesus. You know, so I deserve to get let go because I have faith in Jesus Christ. And you are my king and you are my God. God is not a fool. You don't play in God's face. If you have done the crime, you're going to do the time with God. The good thing about him, when you have repented, he will turn his wrath from you. What you have likely deserved, what you should have got for what you did, he decided, I'm going to take it easy on you because I see that your heart is clean with this repentance. Come on. Come on, baby. Sometimes God says we only repent because we feel bad. We don't really want to do what we are do. That's just the truth. Who is going to come and talk that? That is why he never gave you what you wanted. Because he knew you wasn't genuine. And then we want to curse God. Don't you dare curse God. He's holy. He's righteous. Are you are the problem? Not God. Are you cause yourself in a problem? You know? God will draw close to those who honor him. You know? But just see when you have people sin, 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 and dash in the face, and dash on a pit out and a ball up on him, all that we see now, we don't care about him. We don't care how we feel about we words him. We don't care how we live with life. We don't care how we walk. We don't care how we talk. Why you they come and beg, beg my God, the people them God, for favor, and you don't care. So me a call with to conviction. How you say you love Jesus and you not make no move for God? Hypocrite. Wait there, you know Jesus, but your tongue is so lashing and wicked to people. You know Jesus and you look to tear down. Oh my God, what a religious people. No relationship and have good God. Because if you had a relationship with Christ outside of religion, you would realize the love of Christ. And why it's important to give it to even those who have wronged you. Those who have offended you, even at the highest level. Some of you, it's your pride that is stopping you from growth. You don't want to see the truth. You only want to hear your own voice. Shut up and let God speak for once. Shut up. Let God minister to your pain. Shut up and let him tell you why you stay the way you stay. Why you cause people the way you cause. He will talk to you about you, the war you have on the inside. You think God is a fool? You think God is an idiot? He knows what you've been through that nobody else knows why you're acting the way you act. But you don't want to deal with yourself. So you prefer to deal with everybody else. That's why you see them cause people all day. Because they cannot face themselves. Any one of them big and bad face themselves out there, messy. Me come give you the praise. Face on yourself. Come talk the truth. Because none of you know I see a talk truth. None of you know me up, me see out here coming to really tell by yourself. None of you. None of you. Some of you only try to be a little transparent. But I see who come use yourself as the example. I see who come ball out the truth. When you done, when you done people wrong and come tell the world of the truth. I see none of you know out here that is that honest. None of you know. I just the truth. None of you know me not see that is that blatantly honest to come tell certain things. No, you won't. Because you're worried about what people will say. I'm just happy so I kind of don't care what nobody goes say. I'm kind of terrible the way me terrible. Because if me went, went softy softy, I would have the ball. 
come tell your truth and stop from telling people them truth because god is not interested in their truth he's interested in your truth stop focusing on them they're nothing to you they are nothing to you then you know what too? they didn't deserve all the attention you give them you see all the attention you will give, give the people them they didn't deserve the attention we are getting. So I'm here to tell you right now is this. Stop giving people attention. Stop giving things attention, negative attention. Give yourself attention. Love upon yourself. Bless yourself and do your thing. Don't, don't be hard on yourself. Just know that we, we take time to change. But your first step is to admit the truth. You cannot sit there and keep lying to the people, lying to yourself. Some of you have some bad things going on inside. You're, you're out here acting crazy. I'm telling you, some of you are right. And the world can see. I, I, and when we say something, oh no, I go on, like I say, we are come for no. No, we're not. Me have nothing but love in my heart for you, you know. No matter what you come for me, I, me I have nothing but respect and love for people. But when I see the signs of things, I may say it, people don't want to listen. But we're going to watch them crash. We're going to watch some of them have some mental breakdown on here. And I'm going to come back when they have it and I'm going to say, look how long I've warned you about this. I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, look how long I preach this to you. You don't listen. Because you want to prove a point and you want to prove say a King Kong because you are God alone and God not exists. Because all glory has to be for you. Prideful and cocky. Me not have to own it all people. You see the prideful and cocky one them? Me not like one like that. Me like people who can tell the truth. Me like people who can admit when they're wrong. Me like people who can come talk bold. You see the way you come, come cuss people bold? Me like when you're done cuss people, you come apologize bold. You come talk out your mouth, you wrong the people them. And that me want to see. If you say, yes, see one they were really changed. Yes! See one they will understand what it means for the busy about nobody feelings. Yes, see one they will know what is off the rockers of self glory and willing to see the people. Where on the day and who me I look for? When my big man there will have that in their heart. Will have the boldness to take the backlash and come with standing for what's right. Who don't have it because money is more important. Likes and numbers. And when you start losing numbers, you don't have to create drama for numbers. You don't have to say you don't have confidence. You don't have to say insecurity and never to the belly bottom. Stop it! And stand proudly in who you are and the gifts that God gave you. Because when you go over in lane, you're insecure. And you're not safe. Stay where God put you. Stop from hype up in the things and nuff up in the things and bring down things and people. Stop doing it. We ought to stop doing certain things. Me when do it too. That's why I can't tell about it. If me when, if me when, come on now. If me there when do it, me could have went come talk, chat and start the truth now. Me could have went come talk. So me just encourage everybody, platform holders, supporters. Get off your high horse. If you have wronged people, stop pretending like you haven't. Get off your high horse. Get off of it. Chatters, if you're here and you're not following us, please follow us on YouTube. Please follow us on Facebook. Please follow us on TikTok, Instagram, everywhere we go. And please remember to support our back to school project this year for the kids. Right? We know what of money I spend, you know. But me prefer to spend my money to bless people. Alright? So, guys, remember, if you're spending with us and you don't want to give us any money, go to Amazon and buy one box of lotion, box of body wash, box of soap, box of deodorant, box of toothpaste, toothbrush, any little thing, stuff to wash your body with, soaps, rags, all that. We need it for the kids. We appreciate we love our true and genuine. And while you're here, please ensure I don't have to beg you guys to share the live. All right? And I every live my business about you know. But some lives are pertinent and important for us to share. So while you're here, please share the live. I love you and I appreciate you. Have a blessed morning.